Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode 5 of season 2 of Oshinoko. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. change. The fact that she's making him food. That's so sweet. Con it. Oh, that looks so good. I'm hungry. I want food. That'll make me happy after this situation. Yes! <laughs> Aqua. You want me to feed it to you? Oh, oh, honey! But still, honey, I don't want you to be a part of this. Like, God. Like, seriously, we, we talked about this last week. What if she gets killed? Yeah, but he clearly has talent. <laughs> Come on, you gotta talk about it. Well, you make her understand. You can't just keep everything to yourself and hold it all in. You have to communicate. <laughs> hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, I help you. Of course. Akane. <laughs> That means coming to her when you're upset. Well, that too. In a nutshell, match my freak. Match my freak is the, you know, besides things that are happening in my personal life, in a nutshell, match my freak this week. Oh my God. Uh, Ruby, no, no, no. It's okay, Ruby. But, you know, some couples can go like that every night. I mean... Wait, 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 wait. Shut up. Time out. Time out. Hold up. Ruby, you, you can't do. Ruby! She can't just go dark. Because she just went dark. I, I hold up. Wait!
You say that. Oh, Ruby, 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 Ruby. I wish, babe, you could just read the room one, guys, but it, it's okay. It's okay. Just, if he ever calls or texts you, don't answer. Listen to God! Thank you. Oh, my God. That's why I also love Connor, because she knows. When you know, you know. Connections. Right. But you gotta do what you gotta do.
<laughs> Seriously, everybody's just going dark today. Like, Jesus. Ooh, that was graceful. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Don't take that. It's my magnum opus, oh my god. So if it flops, it's also my fault. Is my charge over there? Wait, give me a sec, guys. No, it's over there! Oh my god! It's gonna die on me in probably a couple of minutes. Oh, you'll never see. <laughs> Probably.
Okay, when the credits come up for this episode, I'm going to, like, darken my screen, get my charger. <laughs> Be right back. You'll still hear me in the background. Give me a second. Okay, where is it? Okay, so initially, with the. Hold on. Because I'm super scared that it's gonna die on me. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> Literally was going to die and had to get the charger. Okay, so this was interesting. The fact is that Connie is like, yeah, if you need me to kill this person, I'll do it with you. Once again, match my freak. Match my freak. Girl, I mean, my goodness. Did, did not think that we would have a moment like that where it's just like, yes, you know, she's, she's like, I want to do this to help you. Clearly, of course, we see you're hurting. And so she wants to do everything in her power to stop that. And if that means killing someone, she's okay with it. Even me. But I'm joking. I am joking, please. Because I joke a lot-ish. I wouldn't do that. But, you know, it, it's very interesting to just see someone when, when someone is on that same wave like as you. Like I said, I've seen it with this couple that I am super duper obsessed with as of, like the last what month, um, probably two months now we can say, um, and now with them, it, it's super weird and but interesting at the same time when you find someone who is on that same wave like the Jew, you just ask them a question and then instantly they're like, I have a feeling you want this, so I want this too. But she wants to support the hell out of them. Now, with Homeboy, who was on the um, the drama with Kana and Aqua, I I'm, pfft, I felt super, super bad for him. He knows that he is the worst actor out of everybody in this ensemble of cast. Like, every, you always know that there's that one person who is, like, quote-unquote, the dead weight, which is him. I hate to say and call him a dead weight, but... Even with him, he is kind of referring to himself as a, damp, a dead weight. But it's worse when it's someone in the ensemble class who also ends up referring to you. Or let's say you're at a job 
and you've been working at that job for a while and someone who was maybe higher up than you still calls you what or tells you to your face you know you're the dead weight of our group and stuff that you're you're good but you're not as good as this person where they're comparing you to someone else that's my my biggest pet peeve where someone has either called me a dead weight and saying I will never be um as good as someone else my thing is don't compare me to anybody else don't do that shit I don't like that shit if you wouldn't like it if somebody did it to you why the fuck would you do it to me and such so hopefully in this because something tells me next week we're going to see I'm praying that next week's episode is a little longer so maybe about like 45 minutes maybe an hour long I'm not 100% sure on it um because I want to see the whole thing. I want to see the whole fucking play now. Because we're at the end. We're at of this journey. So it's like, let's go. <laughs> Let me see the whole freaking thing from beginning to end. Because something tells me it's just, it's going to be good. But something else tells me they're going to be like, nope, we're just chopping that itch up. Chop, chop, move on. But no, seeing Ruby, Akane, and Kana all go and have dark moments. Literally being like, yes, I will do X, Y, and Z for you. Ruby being like, oh, if he, if Aqua got Akane pregnant, I'd hate him. I'd probably kill him. Y'all some crazy mofos. Like, seriously. Some crazy mofos. I like that, though. Something about that I like and such. I don't know why, but I, I don't know because I, I feel like, I've done some crazy ish, but I, I, I've never, I've never done that. I'm never going to do that because I'm, I'm a good person. I see the best in people, but you know, sometimes you just look at someone, you be like, I get so sick and tired of your BS and, and stuff. The villainous in me comes out. I'm in my, I, I think I've still been in my villain arc for like the last good year. Um, due to some certain things that have happened. <laughs> Woo! Even with the situation of this week, I'm in my villain arc extremely. Um, and just, oof. but yeah, girl, I, I, definitely right now, you know, as much as I want to say, watch out for Aqua. No, watch out for Ruby. Because we, we know how dark aqua can kind of get from seeing you know all the first episode of season one and all of season one and such but something tells me ruby will go a lot darker and do a lot of crazy hectic things because as much as like aqua saying like yeah i'm gonna kill someone something tells me ruby after this episode specifically ruby will be the one to make the final kill and if she does Congratulations, baby. You got that. You deserve it and such. But I, I really don't know. Because, girl. <laughs> you wanna, we want to talk to somebody. Like, have a one-to-one -one conversation with Ruby. But like, how you, how would you feeling about this woman? You want to go out and kill somebody? Baby, don't do that. Like, oh my god. Help. Help the baby. Please help her. Oh my god. But no, I'm super excited for next week to see how this is going to go. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 5 of season 2 of Oshinoko. Uh, Oshinoko. <laughs> If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all on Wednesday for episode 6. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.